Governor Romer is back on with us this morning. Governor Romer, good morning. Welcome back to WNTK. You know, I'm 67 years old, and I might be too old to use the telephone. I'm sorry for the screw up. Don't guys. worry about it. You know, it's it's you know it's <laughs> it's the magic of cell phone technology. It's ama- it's amazing that the sounds go through the air the way they are. We were just talking about true. we were talking about Iowa and trying to put Iowa in perspective, yeah. Governor. While you know everybody, you would think that uh, the straw poll on Saturday is election day, and it's not. Yeah. Uh, you know, no, wh- no, no. It, it's it's been hyped. You know, you, you used the word entertainment a few minutes ago, and sometimes decent debate, quality discussion turns into entertainment. Yeah. And and these states are vying for who's first, who's most important. And I was a great state. You know that. I know that. I'm a farm boy. I like talking to the farmers, but they are they are trying to to make their event greater than any others, and it's not a it's not a vote there. It's a caucus, and this whole contrived uh, a straw poll is about money. Let me tell you this. They asked me for $15,000 to have a booth and to participate in the straw poll. Well, I'm running a people's campaign. I, I don't mind the money in politics. I just mind when it comes from special interests, and it comes hidden. So we, we're running a different kind of campaign, so I couldn't participate. But it's interesting that the cost of participation in the straw poll was $15,000. I wonder, is that American politics now? You've got to penny up, uh, pony up uh, fifteen grand just to get to the table. Wow. Yeah, wow. I mean, in South Carolina, for their first debate, it was 20000 Wow. I mean, these are the hidden stories that that the the average small business person or the taxpayer doesn't realize. You are right. Politics is entertainment in part. Yeah. But it ought to be just in part. It ought not be the straw that stirs this drink. Before we uh, get to 9 o'clock, we're going to go over to the New London Barn Playhouse, Governor, which is this uh, theater treasure that we have here in New England. And, you know, as we look at uh, the other drama, the real-life drama that all of us are in, and it is balancing the budget and this roller coaster ride and the hit that the average American you and I took in our 401ks this week is $16,000. That's paper money. Wow. You know, how, wow. and, and that that's what happened to all of us this week. How do we, how do we get a handle on this and what's going on? in Washington. Well, the average guy knew what was coming. I mean, these experts on Wall Street seem to be shocked that the Dow is down uh, 1,100, 1,500, 2,000 points. Why should they be shocked? We, we have a deficit this year of a trillion four hundred billion dollars. In the Obama budget, we've got deficits the next 10 years. We have a million fewer people working today in America than we did 12 years ago. There are 40 million more Americans and a million people fewer working. This economy is in trouble, and I'll tell you why. We're giving our jobs away overseas. We are giving our jobs away to unfair trade practices, to child labor, to prison labor, to forced labor, to no standards. And sometimes, somewhere, some president is going to stand up and say, I've had enough of it. And obviously we're in a global economy, so when a domino falls, be it Greece or China or any place in the world, it's going to affect us and vice versa. It is a global marketplace. 12% of our GDP is from exports that we send overseas, 12%. Here's the problem. 19% of our GDP is imports that we buy. Yeah. Now, if you sell 12 and you buy 19, eventually you're going to run out of money. Hello, America. So do you That's throw, where we are. Do you throw out the tax code and start all over again? How do you, get, how do you turn this thing around? You do, but that's not the problem. I mean, the tax code needs complete revision. We need to lower marginal rates, do away with deductions and, and exemptions, make it simple so a guy like me can read it and not have to hire three tax lawyers. <laughs> you need to make it where corporations pay all pay a decent amount, but not 35 or 36%, more like 15%. 
We need to be a tax haven. We need to create capital. We need to stop the foreign tax credit where GE can build a plant in India and charge it off against the American taxpayer. Oh, yeah, we need to revise the tax code. But I'm going to tell you what we need before that. We need a president that's free to lead and not in the pockets of the big corporations and the special interests. Obama does bank reform, and the next week he's on Wall Street with the big banks at $35,000 a ticket. Now, it's a disgrace what's happened in this country. A few at the top run America, and no one likes to talk about it. A few at the top run America, and they run it for their own self-interest. They've never been more wealthy. They've never had more profit. Here's what I see in America. I see in America where small business is part of the decision-making. I see America where we defend our jobs. I see in America where we're energy independent. I see America where we're growing 3 million new jobs a year. I see in America where our youngsters and our grandkids have a future. I do not see the continuation of an America where the top 2% make all the decisions. It doesn't work. Former Louisiana Governor Buddy Romer is running for president. You can find out more about him online at BuddyRomer.com. And uh, something that will extend to you, Governor, and all of the candidates. Uh, We'll do a debate on WNTK. We will not charge $15,000, just absolutely free here on the open airwaves, as it should be, for people to decide. Governor, we'll look forward to having you on again uh, soon.